Hey, what is up crew, it's your captain here, Geronimo, welcome to yet another episode of Let's Play Star Trek Online. Rise of the Discovery has brought us another lockbox, this time we have a section 31 lockbox and it comes with the two ships, one is Federation, other one is Klingon. All you need to do, buy yourself master keys, get lockboxes and click on them until you get a ship box. I have actually spent around 600 keys opening up the boxes and that's a personal record, however I was going for the boat ships. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at the Federation side, Section 31 Science Destroyer. Without any further ado, let's proceed to the video, engage! Section 31 ship is a great recreation of the Leland ship that we saw in the Discovery Series 2. It has those basic Federation elements, but it's not fully a Federation design. It was clearly influenced by some shady Intel organization. There is one template type, however, there is no unique bridge interior. You have access to the walker's interior, but it would be amazing if we had an interior that a Leland had. Moving to the windows, there is only an Intel type. Taking a look at the material options, there is a lengthy list of them. Same as every other Discovery era starship, you get to choose between few Discovery styles. Then there is this retro NX look and a few classic STO designs that are considered to be futuristic when talking about Discovery era starships. And of course, there are some unique Section 31 materials. Turning our attention to the advanced options, there are standard patterns, but then there is no style and that's ok because there is only one template type. Ships out of the box skin material type is really dark, so I switched it to this lighter version just so I can show you the changes in customizing the left side of a color. The areas of a ship that are now in red are going to be affected by the change. The same deal goes for modifying the right side color. Those areas of a ship that are now in red are affected by the change. And now, let's take a closer look at the ship in space. Section 31, Intel Science Destroyer is a master of deceptive appearances, classified as a classless scaling tier 6 federation starship. Those vessels are also unmarked and have to check in every 15 minutes to the control. It can be used as soon as you finish tutorial mission and will then scale up alongside with you, gaining more hull HP, weapons and console slots as you progress through levels. Although mastery points may be earned immediately, mastery itself won't take any effect until you reach level 50. Along with that, ship comes pre-equipped in a configuration that is on screen right now. Ship's Admiralty stats are 15 Engineering, 52 Tactical and 56 Science points with a special ability, plus 15 Science per a Tactical ship. 31's maintenance period is 18 hours. On level 65 you have 45,000 hull HP, there are 4 forward and 3 aft weapon slots with the ability to have dual cannons equipped on them. There is also an experimental weapon slot pre-equipped with invasive coil gun, but more about it a bit later. As a science ship, there is also a secondary deflector slot. Bridge officer stations depend on the current ship's operating mode. When in science, you have Lieutenant Commander Tactical Cross Intelligence, Lieutenant Engineering Ensign Science, Commander Science Cross Intelligence and Lieutenant Commander Universal, but when in tactical mode, Lieutenant Commander Tactical turns into Commander Tactical and Commander Science degrades to Lieutenant Commander Science, but more about this later on. There are 3 device slots, 4 tactical, 5 science and 2 engineering consoles. Ship comes with a turn rate of 15 degrees per second with the inertia rating of 60. There are also a few modifiers for the hull in a value of 1, for the shields in a value of 1.65 and for the impulse in a value of 0.20. You won't have a problem with the power levels as you get a boost of plus 15 to auxiliary and plus 5 to weapons. As a tier 6 ship, you have access to 5 tier mastery with enhanced exotic particle generators, advanced shield systems, enhanced restorative circuitry, reactive shield technology and ship's trait, Exitus Octoprobat. While this trait is slotted, using bridge officer intel abilities or jam sensors will give your ship a large stealth bonus, bonus to weapon damage and starship control expertise boost for the next 20 seconds. 
As a science ship, you have access to subsystem targeting and there is also built-in sensor analysis, which when targeting allies, this ability becomes a healing buff and while targeting foes, it turns into a twofold debuff. The ship's experimental weapon is called the Invasive Coil Gun. It fires charged oscillation slugs designed to penetrate deep into a target's hull. After the target has been hit enough times, the differential in charges will build up to a collapse, shorting out the target's power system for a short duration. Ship comes pre-equipped with Universal Console Enhanced Tractor Drones. While active, this console locks onto a target with Enhanced Tractor Beam Drone, dealing them kinetic damage, significantly decreasing their maneuverability and pulling them slightly towards you. Tractor Drones have free charges and new charges generated every 40 seconds. Only free charges can be stored at one time. This console also provides a passive boost to Starship Exotic Particle Generation and Weapon Accuracy. The cool thing about this console is that you can even entangle up to three ships with your tractor beams. Same as Dyson Science Destroyer and the Mirror Crossfield class, this vessel can also toggle between science or tactical modes. This will do a change in bridge officer seats as previously mentioned, and by going to the tactical it will also activate experimental weapon. You will gain boost to weapon power levels, flight speed, turn rate and inertia. However, tactical mode disables secondary deflector, subsystem targeting and sensor analysis and decreases auxiliary power and shield capacity slightly. Tactical mode can be ended at any time to re-enable science mode. Also, the ship will do a transformation while toggling between those two modes. The Intel Science Destroyer additionally comes with a dark mode. When active, dark mode will give your ship a massive stealth bonus, rendering you invisible for nearby sensors, however, this boost may come with a risk. Your shields will be offline as long as dark mode is active. When dark mode ends, you gain a massive damage boost for a short duration. Dark mode can only be activated while out of combat. This is in essence a combination of a bad cloaking device and energy signature masking, but it really makes sense that a Section 31 would try to crack the secret of a cloaking device. Intelligence Starship feature active sensor arrays, which allow Intel craft to gather information about their targets to expose their vulnerabilities via the Gather Sensors series of abilities. When activated, the Intel drone will fly out and go under a cloak flying towards your enemy. If you look close enough, you will see Intel drone decloaking, performing a quick scan, recloaking, then decloaking at another location, doing another scan and so on. Every second, the target of Gather Intel will get a one stack of penetrating scan placed on them. Once the target reaches 15 stacks, they become vulnerable for a short time. If multiple Intel Starships use Gather Intel on a same target, penetrating scan markers are shared between Intel ships, meaning that target will get vulnerable a lot quicker. After the vulnerable stat expires, the target becomes immune to further stacks of Gather Intelligence for a short time. While in vulnerable state, Intel ships can use one of their free disabling abilities on their opponents. Intel vessels are also capable of passive warp signature masking. This ability grants an Intel ship a tiny amount of stealth which will render Intel craft undetectable at long range. This passive stealth bonus is removed when Starship activates its cloaking device. Taking a look at ship in combat, this is a small but powerful Starship. It comes with a few tricks up in its sleeve and can be definitely turned into a powerful destroyer, whether by use of exotic particle generation build or a tactical ship. I have to say that I'm pretty impressed by it, and if you can get it, I would definitely suggest that you take it out for a spin. This is going to wrap this video up, crew. I really hope that you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. It tells me that you liked the video, and it also helps this channel a lot. Also, consider subscribing for more STO videos. And until next time, crew, I love you all, because you are the best. Geronimo, out.